So if you go up to Finder and then Settings, as you can see, the keyboard shortcut to launch settings is Command and Comma. Now, Command Comma is how you access your preferences or your settings in pretty much most applications in macOS. So it's a very easy keyboard shortcut to remember. So I've got Finder selected, and if I go Command Comma, and I'll just move that to the side a little bit, and I'll open a Finder window. So Command N opens a new window if you're on Finder, or if you see Finder up here. So here is a new window. So as you can see, I just opened up Finder, and it's opened recent files, and of course I haven't opened any recent files. Now I'd actually prefer Finder to open up with my home directory showing. So I'll firstly go up to New Finder Windows Show and I'll change that to my home directory. So let's try that now. Command N and there we go. We've now opened up in my home directory. Cool, next I'll go over to Tags. Now if I expand my Finder window, as you can see I have these tags here and I could tag my folders if I choose to, but I actually don't even use this function personally. So I'll go over to sidebar and then disable tags. So that's gotten rid of those. And if I wanted to show my movies, music and pictures directory in my favorites over here, I can enable them here. So I will actually enable my home directory and then go into finder and I'm going to drag that below applications. And the way I work personally is I prefer to create my own folders rather than using the default folders. But that said, everyone has their own way of working. So I'm going to leave movies, music and pictures not enabled. I also don't use connected servers or Bonjour computers. So I'll disable those and I'll leave everything else as is. Next, I'll go over to advanced and I want to enable show all file name extensions. And that way I know exactly what I'm working with. And that is pretty much it. Oh, actually, the last thing is when performing a search, I'm going to change that from search this Mac to search the current folder. Now, I can always change that if I choose to, but usually if I'm doing a search, it's usually for a file within a folder. And I can select a top tier folder that will search everything in subfolders within that main folder. So search the current folder is perfectly fine for me. Cool, I'll close out of Finder settings. And before we close out of Finder itself, there are a few other things to do. So I'll go up to view. And at the moment we're showing as icons. I prefer to use a list. And that way I can expand folders if I choose to. And I want to show the path to each file. So for example, if I open up my external hard drive, if I wanted to know where my files are. So for example, if I selected this file here, then I'd like to know where this is on my hard drive. So if I go up to view, and then show path bar. Down here now is the pathway to this file. So it is in my external XFAT partition on my external hard drive. And then that is within macOS installers. And this is the file here. So I can click on any of these and it'll actually take me to those locations. So I can click anywhere in that path and go to that location. Cool, next I'll go up to view. And I also want to show the status bar. And this is very handy because it shows me how many items I have showing in a window and also the amount of space I have available on that partition or hard drive or wherever you're specifying. Cool, I'll just expand this a little bit. Here we go. Now, if I wanted to show a preview, so I'll go up to my Sonoma setup and go up to OBS. So right now, if I wanted to click on one of these, I don't really have that much information. However, if I click on my keyboard, Shift, Command and P, I now have a preview of the file that I select. And one of the cool things I can do also is have a quick preview of this by simply clicking here and it'll actually start playing the file, which is very, very handy. Cool, next I'll go to View, Show View Options. And here I can actually specify what is showing up here. So I'll just move this to the right a little bit. And if you wanted to toggle on and off the preview, then on your keyboard, it is Shift Command P, and that way you've got kind of more space. So here I'll also enable date created, date last opened, and I can also move items around and resize them. So I can expand that and make that smaller, etc. etc. Cool, and that is pretty much it for the finder settings. So I'll close out of that and I'll also close the Finder window. Now, if you'd like to create what's called a smart folder, this is something that is really cool in macOS, then go up to File, 
and create a new smart folder. Now at the moment I haven't specified any parameters for the smart folder, so I'll do that now. So firstly I'll get this folder to search this Mac, and then I'll go over to plus, and then I'll specify the parameters. So rather than kind, I'm gonna select last open date, within the last, change the days to months, within the last, and let's make that two months, there we go. Now when I do open the smart folder, I don't want to know which applications I've opened in the last two months, so I'm gonna specify that. So if I hold down option on the keyboard, as you can see over here, these three dots replace the plus, so I'll press option and then click the three dots. And so I wanna change the any of the following are true to none of the following are true. And so for the kind, I wanna make sure that applications aren't searched for. And what I'm gonna do now is click save, and I'll save this as last two months. And there we go, I'll save that and it's added to the sidebar. So I can move that above applications. And now I can search for any of the files that I've opened in the last two months. Cool, so that is Finder now configured. So I'll close that. And now if I open up a new Finder window, Command N, I now have my newly configured Finder.